is up you guys you're watching search of secrets and today we're going to be going into dillard so today we're going to be doing some shopping before i get started if you can give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button it is my first shopping vlog since all of this has went down it has an extra 50 percent off i have something that i have to exchange so hopefully i find something that i want or that i see i'm going to be vlogging on this camera i never phone is low in battery so i will be trying to film on this camera i want to see the deals that they have a lot going on but i like to create content for you guys that are at home that may not be able to go out i leave your house so i'm here to do the work for you as we're shopping like we're best friends we're going to be looking at a bunch of stuff so you guys can enjoy and love this vlog i would definitely love to hear your thoughts and your opinions and i'll be back doing to my regular vlogs as i usually do i just haven't for the last couple weeks because of you know what but now i'm back in full force and i'll be trying to be filming vlogs hopefully i don't get in trouble for filming on this camera if not then we'll see but i'm excited and i'll give you outfit of the day and everything as we're at the shopping center I will be wearing a mask. I really don't want to. I don't think you're required to wear one. I do want to wear. I think it's on backwards. I don't really know how a mask is supposed to go. Like this. I'm going to be talking like this. So I 100% apologize from if I do sound a little weird. If I'm mumbling. It's just because of this. It's for my safety. This is something that I do have to do for my health. If I want to do videos like this. Like I said I will be hand sanitizing. Wiping everything down throughout you know when i get back to my car and everything but this is a precaution that i am taking for myself so i do apologize if you can't really hear me or anything but we want to go shopping and i want to be safe about doing it and you guys haven't been requesting it so i will be delivering but i do have to take precautions so hope you guys understand where i'm coming from and without further ado let's go ahead and go into dillard's and i may walk into the mall just to see how it looks like because i really haven't been in a mall like in I think seven weeks now so I definitely want to see how it looks like I don't think I'm gonna be going any shopping like physically into any other store other than Dillard's but I do want to see how it does look like and yeah so like I said give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button all the items that I'm gonna be talking about today will be linked down below including my entire outfit and yeah So we are on the first level into the men's apartment. It is pretty dead. There are not a lot of people. Oh, do they not? Oh yeah, they do have extra 50% off. He's the one coming and I have to return something. Look how pretty this tote is. I got this about like six months ago and it's my favorite to, to go shopping with. This is good Carmen, it's from EG. I decided to film with my with my phone just because my camera is a little too noticeable. But as you can see, my face mask, I am wearing my Louis Vuitton earrings that I got from one of my friends that sold to me. I'm wearing my multi-pochette. Sorry about my regal top. Um, I was just driving for like 30 minutes, so. <laughs> but I can just steam it out when I get home. This top is from Equipment and it's in a size small. I'm wearing these girlfriend jeans in a size 26 and then I'm wearing my new Vasia sneakers that I got on sale for 20% off. I love Vasia, these are my second pair, these are the all white ones and I always wanted them and usually I'm a 41 but I went for a 40 on these ones. But yeah, there's like absolutely nobody in here so it's really great that I get to shop in peace but they're my understanding, I thought they had extra 50% off on all the bags but they don't but there's not a lot of employees or anything so i feel like i can shop in confidence without like me getting kicked out or anything so we are going to be looking at some other items so here is this mark jacob snapchat 30 percent off and it is 262.50 from 375 i'm actually quite bummed out that they don't have extra 50 on the bags or at least like some designer ones for 65 when i mean designer i mean like more jacobs for a lot of brands like that here's another furla furla is a very high quality brand 
this is a brand that I said I did want to talk about. My YouTube channel and Dealers is one of the few places that actually carries a good selection of Furla handbags. So this kind of reminds me of kind of like the YSL kind of grainy leather. Like I have the cape bag in this and it feels very, very similar. The other, the YSL is a little bit more sturdy, but this feels very substantial and the chain feels pretty well. And this one from Furla is 194 from 278 that's actually a pretty decent price and like i said i've been doing a lot more research and furla is actually a really great brand i know somebody commented on my video saying that furla is not even contemporary i would consider it kind of more designer and now that i did history i would consider it because they do have a heritage and they have been around for quite a long time and it has micro suede on it and it is such a beautiful handbag i'm actually going to try this on just because it is such a gorgeous bag to look at. Look how gorgeous that is. That looks so elevated. And what I like is that, at least here in Texas, a lot of people don't really wear furla handbags. So I feel like it's a little bit more different and a little bit more exclusive to be wearing, you know, like a furla bag than some of the other mainstream bags. Here's this one right here. This is more of a flap. I kind of prefer this one. This actually looks like a very classic style. Like you can get a lot of gears worth of this one. Here's this one right here. And you just open it up like that. I like the suede. They kind of remind you of the Jimmy Choo bags. So the Jimmy Choo have kind of like that pretty suede interior that kind of matches the color of the bag. Here is this little kind of lunchbox, little carry one. Here's a little wallet that says Mark Jacobs in this kind of mobby color. 115. Oh, we have a snapshot for 206. I wish this was a lot lower. I wish they had extra 50% off. Because I would definitely buy it, or even 30. I would definitely buy this, but that's a pretty good deal for a classic snapshot for 206 or the strap on it. That's actually really pretty. And then they have this tote. I know this tote went on sale on a lot of other websites. Actually, I kind of like this because there's like nobody in here and I feel like I can shop in peace and I can kind of look at everything and usually associates don't really want to talk to you or anything because, you know, they're afraid of catching something. So they're afraid of kind of like approaching you, get more close contact. So I do like this kind of new concept, you know, it's nice for me because no one bothers me. There's nobody in the store and I can look and film and check everything. Here's this Marc Jacobs bag right here, two forty-five. This is one of the only Dillards in the, as far as I know, that carries Marc Jacobs. Um, I don't even know like some dealers carries like La Mer, and they carry more of the premium brands as far as like skincare and stuff, or Armani Cosmetics. I did not really know that, but that's quite interesting, and that's always good to know. And Rebecca Minkoff bags too. Sixty-five. There is this Marc Jacobs too right here. It's 97 for 90, so it's half off. The rip shop took my ticket. So they do have a pretty good selection. We're going to be looking at some of the Kurt Geiger bags. So they have this one right here, because I know I've been getting asked with these little encrusted. Here's this novelty one. Not the biggest fan of this one. Not the biggest fan of the Twilly. I wish I didn't have the Twilly. Here's this clear one with studs. That's new, I haven't seen that one, or the backpack, so they must be new, because the way you merchandise, sometimes they put the newer ones, and the ones that they have to sell core on the top. So here's a core black one, here's some core two styles of the rainbow. Here are their totes, I talked about their totes, how they're really nice, so they're made in Italy. If you open it up, it says I am leather, and it's a really substantial toe. Obviously, I wouldn't put like very, very heavy items, but it is a good everyday tote. It's nice, it's super lightweight, and it's $229, and it's a really good bag, so I do like it. And if I do talk about something for a longer period of time, like let's say this Kurt Geiger bag, I will leave it linked down in the description box, just so you can check out like dimensions or any information like that. I always like to be very, very helpful with my videos. I'm starting to do that a little bit more. Here is this little, oh, this is actually quite pretty. I like, you know, I've always been more of a silver hardware type of person than other styles, in this really pretty blue color. Not the biggest fan of the studs. I do like these. I did mention this on my Kirk Iger video, which I will leave linked down below. These kind of remind me of like Jimmy Choo candy clutches, and they just look so yummy. Like, I do want to eat them. 
not the biggest fan. I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of tweed bags in general. I do like that one. But in general, I'm not the biggest tweed fan. But I really do like this one. This one's absolutely gorgeous. And I like to carry it like that. And I'm pretty sure it comes with a strap on the inside. And here is the tote for reference. Oh my god, my shirt's so wrinkly. I apologize, guys. Like, I was sitting down at my friend's house for like a few hours. And yeah, that's what happens when you sit down on the couch. My apologies. It looks a little bit of a hot mess. But yeah, these are the Kirk Geiger bags. I kind of like this, guys. It's a big one. We can kind of chit chat and have a good conversation. So, here is the Mark Jacobs bags. So this is the tote bag that I mentioned. That is 195. It's a really great price point, and I like the zipper on it. This one does not come with the strap on the outside to wear as a shoulder bag. That's why I prefer the one that's 175. And it says Mark Jacobs patch back here, and on the inside it has a little zipper with two pockets on the inside. And the folds, I like how the zipper is nice and full, nice and thick. I like the little detail right here. But a lot of people in store today, which I quite like. Um, but yeah, this is a really great tote bag. Like I said, I would, rec I would go for the smaller one because I do like the strap option. And you can, it's, I feel like it's more travel, more everyday. That one may be a little bit too big, but that's a good travel bag. Here's some nylon crossbodies. Not the biggest fan of those. Here are these kind of, they made like a pillow version. Like, they look like little pillow bags. Clap, I like these, but not my absolute favorite. I'm gonna be really honest, you would think that they would do the silver with the black and the black, like, I don't, I don't really care for this combination. And then here's these ones, these ones are $2.95 and they have a strap on the inside. I like them, not for me, and they have a little magnetic closure like that. And they come with the strap as well. But for, I think $2.95 or $3.25, it is a pretty decent, like, this is my hand. This is my multi-pochette, like, it is a pretty decent size, you can't fit a lot. I like that it has the crossbody version on it. Here's those totes, like the maroon ones on sale. And then that one does come in the bigger version. And I like how it says Belmar Jacobs throughout the bag. Here is the classic The Editor tote, $4.95. And here are the minier versions of them. Navy, this kind of camely color, and the black. Then we have like this really pretty blue. So if you are buying a Mark Jacobs bag, I would get one that says The Mark Jacobs and not regular Mark Jacobs because they recently been rebranding, so I would want to get a newer version. Here's some little more, like little snapshots for newer bags. They're a little nice and hobo. I like them, but not my favorite. That nylon backpack I do really like. Fry bags. Oh, they have a little handsome tiger station, which is nice. Fry bags, underrated bags, beautiful leather bags. So here's that kind of Saint Laurent looking bag from um, Furla. That's probably disrespectful to say. I should not be calling it like a Saint Laurent thing or anything because this is actually a gorgeous bag by itself. Furla, Italy. It's actually a really pretty bag. Like it, it, it literally looks like it looks elevated. And the price point for this is reached to $2.98, which I think it's really good. But for sale for $2.08, I think it's a pretty decent price tag. And like I said, it feel it almost feels like the Saint Laurent leather. Like it's nice high quality. And see like the it, it's a lot more expensive to produce a bag like this because on the inside as you can see it has suede versus this thing a lot has more of, oh my god guys look oh my god it has this little thingy right here that's actually really cool wow these bags are actually really pretty like i would get this i would get this thing that's a gorgeous because you can dress it up you can dress it down a little fur like camera bag I, I like this detail. I did not notice that. I have to do research on what this is or is just like that. I'm sure nobody sees me filming because I don't want to get in trouble. This is the new Furla logo. I did notice that. Here's this little satchel and croc. I think Furla makes very high quality bags. Like this does not look like a $500 bag. It looks like a $2,500 bag. And like I said, a lot of people don't wear Furla, especially here in Texas from what I've seen. And so I think you're a little more different than some of the other contemporary brands. Like I said, I love all brands, but you know, sometimes it is different to get something that's a little bit out of the ordinary. And Ferla is a very reputable brand, but you can get a pretty, like these bags. I like that one. I like that one for a pretty decent price. Like that's pretty, like, I think it's underrated. I definitely do see myself adding a Ferla bag in the future. 
So here are some Kate Speed bags that are 30% off. Uh, I wish, oh, these are more than 70, but this is 97. I think these are more like 65. One easy. Like the lady keeps looking at me and I'm not trying to get in trouble. Mm, are these totes they have a smaller one here and the larger one they usually just have the smaller version of it or oh my god one of my subscribers got this bag and sent me a picture of it he's really sweet he got this bag it's really pretty like look how tiny and gorgeous it is but here it's full price but he got it and it's so i love it when you guys show me the stuff that you buy or the purchase that I kind of tempted you into making. I know it sounds really bad, but uh, it was me. It, I get some some sort of fulfillment. Like I feel like the YouTube channel, I like it because I kind of help you guys out getting some nice items for your collection. Those, but yeah, a lot of the styles that they have for Kate right now are very core, and I do really like them. They do have some Buta dealers for fifty Fabi bags, leopard, red, this other red one. See, normally I'm not the biggest fan of the C monogram, but I like how this one's nice and thick and it's very pretty. I also like this camel with the smooth leather. This maroon one. This is such a pretty bag. I always get asked about Brahmin bags, and I really like this one because of the crystals. It's really pretty. Five, it has a operator, five, five, I like that one. Here's the white one. Color block one, this nudie one, the one that I got. Then here's these little small ones here. Here's the one that I have with the three chains. See, I don't mind the monogram on the smaller box because it's not as like plastered on there. It's just like a little piece of it. You know what I mean? It's just a little small. Here's this one with the little turn locks. Like this are the ones that are not necessarily my favorite ones. But I do like the printed styles. I just don't like the ones with the seeds all over them. See, I don't mind the HUD in, in this style either. I like that one too. Here's the black one. And what I like that it's like a smooth leather, but it's a little bit more hard wearing. I really like this one right here, the tabby. I want the large tabby. I think this is gonna be the next one that I get. Here's like the entire fixture and everything. I really like this one. Here's the one with the suede. Which yeah, I would do a suede bag, but like this with a little bit on it. Look at that embellishment. It's a very Texas Western bag. The Brahmin bags a lot. Like I would wear this backpack. I would wear that satchel. I guess I'm not a color person, but I do like also, a lot of the Dooney styles are really pretty too. Like I said, Dooney is not my preferred style, but I do really like them. I do like the quality. Like the leather, the stitching, the craftsmanship, the feet at the bottom. They're very nice, well made handbags. They're just not all of them are my style, but they are like. Look, one if you you get so much value for a bag like this. Like they're nice woman bag. That's really cute. I'd actually wear that. It's cosmetics. There's like absolutely nobody working on the counters. Like if you see they're dead and then you can't touch anything. Like there's only like one person, but it says we care about your health and safety. But yeah. Maybe come forward. I don't really carry Tom Ford in this location i know some tom fords have like beauty counters like when i went to corpus christi they had one so this is the actual mall we're just going to be walking it real quick but yeah i did find a bag that i was just a little awkward like she kind of like i don't think she was on to me but she was just definitely a lot more cautious like she kind of knew i was up to something <laughs> as far as like filming and i know i was wearing my face mask the wrong way i was not covering my nose but now i am yeah I just want to walk into the main center and see what's up and then I'll go back I will look at the sunglasses and then the shoes and then we'll call it a little vlog the body works is open I need some hand soaps really bad but nobody in here most stores are closed 
and I kind of like that. I mean, it looks as a person is out shopping, you know what I mean? But it is open. I'm just gonna look at their coat selection, and we will head right back. In JC Penny, it looks like they're not open. Well, pennies, you know, because it's like one of like their newer engineered and designed stores where it's called pennies. I don't even think you can touch anything. I put hand sanitizer, but here we go. The handbags. My phone is like literally dying, guys, but I think my phone is worth dying for this vlog. So here's my adjusted new look with my face not covering my nose. I know it was not covering yet and I look kind of crazy. But yeah. I don't really like to wear face masks, but I have, you know, you have to. This is new, they did not have that over there. I couldn't really film, like I said, I got to film for like a good 10, 15 minutes and then like out of nowhere, like this lady, she was nice. I understand she's doing her job. She probably needs to sell and she just started like following me all around. So it's all these, I like that one with the C, how it doesn't say coach or anything. It's just very simple, minimalistic. That little snake skin, I really like. The coach SOGs holds up pretty well. Like the leather is nice and sustainable. We can wear it more and more and more. Should this be like my little thumbnail? I mean, it seems pretty, like everything looks pretty easy go shopping. The only thing that makes it seem is just the cosmetics and the lack of people. But yeah, that, oh, this is new. Look at this handle, guys. That's gorgeous. I don't know how I feel about this. I wish this was the same color as the white because I feel like this is where you get the most wear when you wear it. But I know my bag isn't all in this color, but I feel like I wish it was all that color and then this was white right here. She's probably $400. Yeah, $400 because the other ones are doing it. But I do like this handle right here. I wonder what this drop looks like. It's just a regular kind of tanny color. I just feel like, oh, with face masks, I feel like I'm kind of suffocating, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I get more hot, like I breathe a little bit. Like, it's a, it kind of bothers me, but like I said, guys, I have to wear it for myself and for other people. Here are these little coach parts. 150. I know Coach just had to sell 30%. I don't know if you can use them on these. I'm pretty sure you can. So Here's these. These are the newer style. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. Monogram. I like all these. You know, I like Coach. You know, you guys know I'm a big fan. We saw this backpack last time. But if I have to do, let's say like, let's say right now guys, like if I were to get my favorite items from Coach, like in this little section, what would be my top, let's say seven picks? I'll go ahead and show you. So my number one, you guys already know, I don't really even see it. Where are you? Where are you, Coach Cassie 19? We're looking for you, baby. I only see her in the monogram, so this is obviously my first choice because with the Coach Cassie 19, you get the small strap with that's leather, the long strap that's leather, and you get the chain strap, which is somewhere in here. There it goes. You get the chain strap. So obviously, this is going to be my number one choice. I think it's the most versatile if you're more petite, if you like smaller bags, good crossbody bag. I think this is your number one. Like. I think if you do want to get it back from Coach right now, I think the Cassies are the perfect one. You guys already know. This one right here, which is the Coach Cassie regular one with the snake skin. This is the one. I just really like this version of this one right here. The third version is going to be this one. I did like this one a lot because it has kind of like this thicker canvas with the smoother leather with the hardware. Same as the bag. I think Tabby is another really great choice. So that's going to be my third choice. And here are like some other variations of them. Here's a, a suede one, this looks more folly. Here's another one. Ooh, I like this color combo. Look at that blue, look how it looks like behind the lighting. Here's a little pink Cassie, that's, on. that's gorgeous with the gun metal. A tabby, like out of all of these. This one right here, or the black one, but honestly I really like the color of the camel. Like look how it captures it on the light. It's absolutely gorgeous. So that's my third choice. My fourth choice is honestly going to be a nice SOG. I feel like everybody needs 
a nice SOG. This version is gonna be this one right here, and it's the tabular wallet. Like, I like the little C, I like how minimal it is. You can fit a lot in this leather, especially like this kind of grainy one, holds up pretty well. So that'd probably be my fourth pick. My fifth pick would be um, this bag over here. <laughs> tabby big one, that's 450. I've always wanted a tabby big one. And I would honestly, instead of going for the camel or the novelty, I'd probably go for the all black one. Look at that pretty suede color. Here's the strap as well. I really like this one. Fifth. That'd be my fifth choice, which is this tabby. And then my sixth choice for a coach handbag would be this one right here. This is kind of like their signature tote. Toy Birch has a very similar one called the Robinson tote. And it's kind of the same thing where you can put your laptop right here. You can put up to, I believe, a 15 inch. It has all these dividers, all these sections where you can fit everything in there. So everything's going to fit nice and smoothly. And this leather is nice and material. So the dog chair right here, you can go to the cook store and get this kind of hot stamp. So I would go for probably this color out of the four ones that we have here. Probably this one with the silver hardwood. And then my last pick for a coach bag that I like, honestly going to be, where are you? Where are you? I just saw you. This one again. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of the C monogram, but I like how this is so thick. Like you have to feel it. Like, it doesn't feel like a cheap or like a, like a high, less quality. This feels like a very nice elevated canvas. And you get this extra pouch right here. Like I like this and I like the nice thick strap. Like I like this a lot. This one is 325. Yeah, that's gonna be my last choice. I really like this canvas. That's why I gravitated towards this tabby right here. Is because of the canvas of how nice and thick it is. I think it's such a beautiful combination. I think it's so pretty, and I don't know. But if I were to, my next bag would probably be this one in this nice camel color, or honestly either this one right here with this thick canvas. Like I love this canvas. Like like I said, I'm not. I keep saying I'm not the biggest monogram fan of Coach, but I do like that one. I like the combination. I kind of like the, you know, the canvas with the smooth leather with the C brush hardware. I really like it. I, I think it's like, it's such a stunner. Like, I'm on a no handbag brand. I can't really be buying, like, a lot of stuff. But I do really like it. I do think it's such a beautiful and gorgeous bag. Definitely look, look like a bag that I want to go forward. Um, I usually like to show more accessories, but what else would you guys be interested in me showing you guys? Because I usually just show handbags. Would you guys be interested in clothing? Like if I showed free people, if I showed other brands, like would that be something you'd be interested in or something that you would want to watch or something? I'm not really sure. Here's a new palette by Anastasia. Um, I'm just not really sure. Oh, this kit's really good because with any like home purchase, you get that. Every single holiday, I grabbed like a few. Like I grabbed like four of them last year and I, gave, I kept two for myself because I used the serum, the Jennifer Leeds serum. I really like it. And then I give the other ones as gifts. Or like, I use this one, this one, this one. When I wear makeup, I, this is my favorite, my eye remover. Or just face remover in general. And then all the other items I give as gifts, including the chain case. Or I give it away to some of my friends. I like Lancome. Lancome's actually one of my favorite beauty lines in general. Like, there's obviously just picks and choose, but as far as foundation and base, like base powders, base foundations, concealers, like all these base products is what I really like from Lancome. Like I know you're not really supposed to touch any of it, you see, do not touch the protection, but I think as far as like, you know, there's a lot of hit and misses for every brand, but I think one thing that Lancome is known for and that does really great is base products, like their serums and like their makeup removers and their actual like foundations and shades. I do really like, and I do have to plot them. Have a nice shade swatch. So look at Taylor Hill. Look at all these beautiful models. Gorgeous. I think one thing that they do know how to make really well is products from that. I don't know if you guys like. I like makeup, but I like more like skincare based products like this, like CC cream. That's what I'm in for. That's what I'm here. Like I like it cosmetics. It's loaned by Oreo now, I believe. I think they paid like a billion dollars for them. I do like some Mac pieces, but for the most part, I am mostly like a fan of. Um, skin. I do like makeup, but I like more skincare based makeup or more foundation products, you know what I mean? Like foundations, concealers, powders. I'm not really into color, like lipsticks and, you know, I do like a lip balm or lip liner, but um, I, I like to keep it more of a minimal and crisp look, like, like what I'm wearing now. You know, I'm wearing a beautiful white blouse. Should I see the thumbnail? 
more foundation and skincare. I don't know if you guys are interested. Usually, guys usually like more of the accessories, but I can definitely go into like the Levi stores and try on different styles of denim or clothing and blazers and more stuff like that. But I'm not really sure if that's something that you guys would be interested in because I still don't want to create content that you guys don't really care for where I can just be creating content like sunglasses and handbags and accessories and designer contemporary. So I'd definitely love to hear your thoughts and your opinions about what do you think? Is that something that's interested? Would you watch me shopping for a designer, contemporary maybe clothing and stuff like that? Because I do talk about it, but I don't actually shop about it in store. So I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions down below because it's quite interesting because, you know, usually most of the uh, content that you guys consume is mostly like handbags and stuff like that. Interesting, it feels so weird. There's like absolutely like nobody in here. Like I said, when I get home right now, I'm about to sanitize everything in my body, but, I need to look at these items and then we'll go ahead and call it a vlog. Here are some of the Kurt Geiger shoes. I got a lot of tea. I like those a lot. Very elevated, beautiful shoes. I will say one thing about Dillard's is that they know how to pick shoes and a lot of their shoes are very high quality and their selection is always pretty great. Like I like those, I like those and I'm kind of picky when it comes to shoes but usually like my mom shops a lot of her shoes here just because i feel like dillard's shoe selection is like really great and especially if you get them on sale for like 65 or 50 percent off or even 65 plus 40 or 65 plus 30 or 50 you can always get great deals on them so like all these are just like nice simple hello you can also get really great deals on them these are extra 50 65 plus 50 you have some Kate Spade, some Vince Camuto. These are cute. See, 83 for 139. Oh, it's 65 plus 50. That's a really great deal. That's what I'm saying, like, high quality shoes at Dillard. It's like, I will say, if you are on a budget or you just like to get good deals or try different styles, I will say that Dillard selection, like, none of their shoes that they buy, whoever the buyers are, they don't look inexpensive. Like, they always look elevated. Like, I think these are elevated. And what I like about Dillard is that they carry shoes for everybody you know if you're 50 if you're 15 if you're 65 they have boots and styles for everybody Their styles see the these same edelmans are or actually see my mom wearing these these are actually gorgeous my mom's style i think i said this before it's kind of more boho chic more like free people like as far as the contemporary brands she definitely likes uh, she's more of a vince camuto a free people she's not really into michael kors man she's more into that kind of boho chic look like she, yeah, I would say that she's not like a Birkenstock person, but she does like Tory and brands like that. I bought these in the black ones a couple of days ago and I really like them. They're worth the money. And I can't believe I waited that long without buying one, 65. See, that's a really great deal, especially for like classic black boots. Good time because they don't really have a sale. They have a few, like I guess they're returns or online. I don't know where they came from, but they do have some shoes, but I will say, like, their shoe selection is pretty dope. Like, it's pretty decent. Like, I've always been a fan of their, so about their selection of footwear. Here's some more styles that are 65. Oh my god, these are 112. I'm gonna try these on. Oh my god, a lot of these styles are 65% off or 50. I kind of like these. Like, here's some Stella's. So I'm going to cut in 110 from 220. 222 from 425. Stella McCartney. They're kind of cute. I do like Stella McCartney as a brand. I think they're sustainable. I think they make high quality items. I kind of like these. 112 from 320. That's pretty cute. Um, Stella McCartney. I don't want to sell a McCartney bag, but like I said, I'm going to know shopping bag. The look of everything, I'm always a big fan of Stella McCartney items in general. It's just one of the few places that surprisingly carries it. Not that that's like Dillard's carries it, you know, but you guys know what I mean. They do have a good selection of Gucci and other brands, but I do really like these guys. Bloody, I think I have to purchase these. Dami Monita, for like, I don't know, what do you guys think? I think I'm going to buy them and I'm going to post a video and you guys let me know. I should not be spending no more money, guys. Do I look homeless, guys? I'm gonna buy these. They're only one, I mean, not only, but they're $112. They're a reasonable clear glass.
I came out a winner, guys. I got the glasses. They actually were ringing up for full price, and I was like, oh, I think it is meant to be. Because you know how sometimes when stuff ring us at full price, you're like, oh, I, think, I think it is meant to be. So I got them. I came out a winner. In the men's section, there's actually a lot of great sales. Just extra 50% off. And one of my favorite brands that I like to shop from Dillard's is Hugo Boss. Here we go, extra 50% off. Hey guys, so yeah, I just got back from Dillard's. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. I just sanitized and everything is super safe. But I got these, I told you guys that they were full price and I got them for 112 and they look like this. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about them. I will be, play, you know, when I get something, I like to play with outfits and kind of do, show around and see. But let me know your thoughts, honest thoughts and opinions. If they're too big, if they're too small, if they just don't look good on me, um, definitely let me know. Usually I go for more rounds, but I do like the square of them. And I do think that they are quite nice. And they were, like I said, 113. And they were, they're pretty different. But I think it's something that I would get a lot of wear out of. So I would love to hear your opinions and your thoughts down below. The thing that I talked about today, including my top seven favorite coach little bags that I saw, I'll be leaving linked down below. If I can find these glasses and some of the core items that I showed in this video, everything in my outfit will be linked down below. So much for watching this Sergio Secret video. Let me know if you want to see more vlogs and from what stores and what type of products you want me to show you guys. I will do anything you guys request me to do as long as, you know, it's something that, you know, I'll, I'll, you guys will definitely appreciate and view. I do want to see myself going into more of the designer stores, but that's something that I would do more on the weekend because it's a little bit more busy and i feel like i can get away with you know showing you guys merchandise without me kind of getting yelled out or getting called out so i could do that but it would have to be more towards the weekend but yeah i would love to hear your opinions down below thank you so much for watching this Sergio secret vlog i guess i give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button those two things honestly really helps out the channel You're just giving a thumbs up subscribing to tomorrow's video bye guys and thank you so much for watching i really appreciate each and every single one of you bye guys